Nigeria has no fewer than 300 foreign missions across the world. On the 2nd of September, President Tinubu recalled all of Nigeria's ambassadors, both career and non-career envoys, through a memo from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. The memo was followed by another directive from the Charge d'Affaires to ensure that the ambassador's residence and office are kept clean, well-maintained and vacant, and that representational cars are not to be used. Guidelines on the management of missions pending the appointment of ambassadors, high commissioners, the ministry directed that no new project should be embarked upon during the period of transition. The ministry instructed that all expenditure on maintenance above 1,000 US dollars or its equivalent should be referred to headquarters for approval. And that apart from payment of foreign service allowances and utility bills, other expenses claims not paid as of 31st October 2023 must be forwarded to headquarters for clearance. The memo also directed that with effect from 1st November 2023, all code yielding trips should be referred to the headquarters for approval. Heads of Chancery and Finance at Achis shall be held responsible for any infraction of the aforementioned instructions. This second memo prompted angry reaction from some ambassadors who were yet to leave as instructed. The diplomats made a passionate appeal to President Bola Tinubu for an extension of the return date to December 31 to enable their awards to take their promotion exams and consequently streamline the academic calendar in order not to truncate their education. According to the ambassadors, the appeal seemed to have received the president's nod only for Foreign Affairs Minister Yusuf Tuga to reject the plea, insisting that the October 31 terminal date remains sacrosanct. The envoys say that the minister, who is also a former ambassador, ought to know that Regulation 9.5A of Foreign Service Rules is clear that an officer shall cease to draw foreign service allowances the day he leaves the post, especially when his failure to leave on the stipulated period is as a result of the failure of the ministry to send the officers passages. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs has yet to respond to inquiries sent to it on the dispute. Punaraman Benjamin, Arise News.